Hey guys, welcome back to the WWJD. JD. What would John do? It's where I do CrossFit batteries workouts and I explain to you how I approach them. This one's kind of a, a simple um, old school CrossFit one I would consider it. It's three rounds, it's 50 double unders, 20 wall balls, and 15 power snatches at a light weight. So 75 pounds is what the barbell is gonna be. So it's a light barbell. When I see this workout, what it tells me is it's somewhat of a sprint. Um, it's going to be for a lot of people, what's gonna happen is if you kind of hit that wall, right, or start messing up double unders and things like that, it's gonna take a little bit more time. Um, the biggest key I found when I do this is try to go unbroken or as smooth as possible in things like the jump rope and the wall ball and the snatches. I'm not trying to get sloppy, trying to hurry, 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 right? If you mess up on your double unders two or three times, that 50 becomes, you know, way longer than you want it to be. Right, same thing in the power snatches. If you start dropping the barbell more than you want, it's gonna take you a little longer. I found that out when I did this workout. So you're gonna get your jump rope. I always say, have a lead in. So I do two single unders before I start my double unders. So when you do double unders, nice and smooth. I don't want to overextend. I don't want to kick my feet. I don't really want to bend my knees because I want to kind of stay smooth with it. So those 50 should be, you know, relatively easy to get in either one full set of 50, or if you're not a great double hunter, maybe you're trying for a, two sets of 25 or a couple of sets of usable numbers, okay, and that's fine. But you don't wanna sit there and just frustrate, frustrate, frustrate. If you're having that big of a problem, go to your single hunters. 20 wall balls, 20 wall balls is not hard to do unbroken. Now, maybe if you're breathing really heavy, you know, you can't do 20, maybe you hold on for 10 and 10, that's fine, but you don't want to rest on the wall balls. It's such a small number of wall balls, you really want to get into it and get it going. But you want to make sure, because definitely got, got the open coming up, I'm going to get my hip crease below the knee, and I'm going to hit that ball at the target. 10 foot for the gentleman. Squat, up, boom. Boom, I'm turning my arms, let my shoulders relax. I don't want to leave my arms up in the air on these wall balls, especially in this workout where I know I'm going to need them for my power snatches. 20 wall balls, get in there, get them out of the way. Even if you do 10 and 10, a short rest break in between those 10, and back on the wall ball. The power snatch is where we see the sloppy, okay? We're breathing heavy, we're trying to hurry. You, it's a lightweight, don't muscle snatch it. I know some of you could probably easily do that, but in the beginning, if you muscle snatch where you don't use your legs, this is what I'm talking about, just one of these. You won't be able to sustain that the whole workout, so you're gonna get sloppy, you're gonna get out of hand, and you have a really high chance of just like tweaking your back or tweaking your shoulder, and then can't work out the rest of the week. So, when I get to these power snatches, I'm gonna have a goal, seven, eight in a row, pop, get under, stand up. So I'm gonna hit, boom, under, back up, boom, up, boom. I'm gonna do them in my sets, under my control, that way I can keep moving, right? For me, I'm shooting for somewhere in the eight and seven, maybe 10 and five in the first round, maybe five's the rest of the round, depending on how I'm breathing. This is definitely gonna be a lung burner, okay? You're gonna breathe heavy during this one. It's gonna hurt, but that's a good thing, right? It'll be over before you know it. So again, stay smooth, don't get sloppy. Hit that like button, thanks guys.